In this video, we'll be going over some pros and cons of the new Sonos Ace headphones and if it's worth picking up amongst the competition. Hey everyone, it's Renz. Welcome back to the channel. So I've actually been a big Sonos fan ever since I picked up the Sonos Beam Gen 2 and the Era 300 for my living room setup. Both of these speakers are incredible at what they do and honestly, I probably won't go back to any other audio ecosystem for my living room setup. So when Sonos announced a new pair of headphones, I was super excited because they're already pretty reputable in the space and creating their own pair of headphones was just a no-brainer for them. So you already know I had to pick up a pair to test out and by the way this video is not sponsored and I also wanted to give you guys my honest thoughts and I've got a few so let's get right into it. Full disclaimer, I'm not an audiophile or an expert at that, so this review is coming from someone who is just a casual user. I mainly use headphones for content creation, whether it's editing videos or just vibing out to music. For me though, there are so many great headphones out there with amazing audio quality, but for me, nothing is more important than comfort. The Sonos Ace checks that box of being super comfortable and lightweight. My main pair of headphones I use is the AirPods Max, and one of my main criticisms of them is that they're heavy and not comfortable for long periods of use. In fact, if I'm being honest, I haven't used them the past month and a half, so they've been collecting dust. The Sonos Ace has a clean and minimal design, and it's kind of a cross between the Sony XM5s and AirPods Max with the same replaceable magnetic ear cups. The AirPods Max is quite heavy at about 385 grams compared to Ace's 312 grams. The ear cups feel smooth, and is made out of vegan leather, which feels quite plush. To get the perfect fit, just simply slide these steel yokes and you're good to go. Overall, I love the clean aesthetic of the headphones. They look really good in white, but I am a little bit worried that over time these might get really dirty, especially the headband portion. The ear cups are replaceable though for $50, which is nice of Sonos to offer. And I also like how they made the right ear cup this pastel looking green to distinguish between right and left ear cups. Another thing I love about these headphones is that they actually have physical buttons. On the left ear ear cup, there's a button for power and Bluetooth pairing. The right ear cup has a button to switch between noise canceling modes. Above that, you have a slider button, which you can slide up and down to change the volume or use it to control playback like pause, play, skip, and even answer calls. I'm glad Sonos went this route rather than touch control, which can be finicky at times. I have to admit though, I do prefer the crown from the AirPods Max. It's just more satisfying to control volume rather than a slider, but I can't complain because the AirPods Max doesn't even have a power button, which is insane for an almost 600 dollar pair of headphones. To test the audio quality, I tested a wide range of songs ranging from rock, hip hop, EDM, as well as watching movies. And from my testing, it performed really well and sounds rich and full. I do have to admit, I still prefer the overall sound quality of the AirPods Max, which sounds a tad bit clear, but the Ace holds up quite well. The bass is also pretty solid. You can tweak the EQ using the Sonos app. It's pretty simple. You just drag the sliders until you get the desired sound you want. The Ace does have lossless audio support, but it's only compatible if you have a device that supports it, which unfortunately Apple hasn't integrated yet. But let's talk about active noise cancellation. It's great and on the same level as any high-end headphone out there. I mean, how can they not have good noise cancellation, right? I mean, the Ace basically has eight beamforming mics designed specifically for noise cancellation and transparency mode. I live in downtown LA, so I hear the city, cars, and noise all the time, and the Ace cancels the sound out perfectly. It performs really well indoors if you have the TV on at a relatively lower volume. Transparency mode is quite good too comparable to AirPods Max. Conversation sounds clear as well as ambient sounds in the room. I however think that these are a bit overpriced because I still think the audio quality in the XM5s or AirPods Max is still better. But again for me headphones with amazing audio quality doesn't mean anything if the headphones themselves are not comfortable to use. And the Ace is quite enjoyable to wear for long periods of time. I did feel my ear cups slightly getting warm after 30 minutes but it wasn't bad. And yeah overall the listening experience has been great whether you're watching videos or or listening to music. I think Sonos did a great job including a case for the headphones. I mean, if you're going to spend $450 on a device, it's important to protect your investment. Although the case itself is made out of recycled materials, it provides enough protection to bring with you when traveling. It even comes with a magnetic pouch where you can store your charging cable too, which is pretty cool. I also like how the case has a slim profile, which can fit nicely into my backpack. I'm sure there will be third-party options out there with higher quality materials, so I'm looking forward to those. Battery life is also decent too with its 30-hour runtime with active noise cancellation enabled. And according to Sonos, a quick three-minute charge can give you up to three hours of playback, which which is good. This battery life is what you would come to expect from headphones like the AirPods Max or Sony XM5s. 
Although there are many great things about the Sonos Ace, there are quite a few things that I didn't like. First of all is the TV swap feature. This lets you quickly switch the audio from playing on your Sonos soundbar to playing on the Ace headphones. This feature is what makes the Ace stand out from other headphones out there. And at the time of this recording, this feature is only available on Sonos higher end soundbars like the Arc. Currently I have the Beam Gen 2 and Era 300, so I can't even use this feature. Sonos did say that these products will be available via software update soon, but this should have been available from the get-go, let alone after a couple of weeks after its launch. Also, the Ace is not Wi-Fi headphones, meaning they can only connect to devices via Bluetooth and can't connect to the wider ecosystem of Sonos. This is the most disappointing part of the Ace. Not being able to use its standout feature was quite annoying, especially having multiple Sonos products. Also, I noticed that my Ace sometimes doesn't even show up in my app, so I have to like reload the app for it to come back. As someone who is primarily an Apple device user, I forget how seamless and easy it is to have the AirPods Max. Being able to switch devices like from my phone to my iPad has been a convenient just feature I use every single day. Not to mention, I can even connect to my Apple TV, which is basically like the TV swap feature from Sonos. However, with the Ace, I have to disconnect and reconnect to my devices, which has just been a hassle. It's not a deal breaker for me though, but something to consider if you mainly use Apple devices. The Sonos Ace sits right around the middle in terms of price compared to Sony and Apple headphones. I do think $450 is a bit much, especially with the lack of some features that we talked about. I mean, you can get the Sony XM5s for $329, which I think is the best value for money you can get for a premium device. But yeah, the Ace is just average and doesn't really have that distinct wow factor. So, is it worth getting? Well, if you can look past all of its quirks, the Ace is still a solid premium pair of headphones that is respectable in space. I was honestly quite impressed at how comparable the sound quality is compared to my AirPods Max, which is still my favorite pair of headphones minus the comfort. The Bluetooth connectivity, active noise cancellation, head tracking spatial audio support, and battery life are all really some strong points to get the Ace. So if you're in the Sonos ecosystem, have the Arc, can utilize TV swap, and have a strong level of trust for the brand, then you're going to love the Sonos Ace. It's hard to justify its price though when there are other options in the market with the same capabilities for a lower price. But for what it offers, I do think it's worth it and give the Sonos Ace a 7.5 out of 10. But if you want to save some money and want that same level of comfort and sound quality, the Sony XM5s are still a solid option. On top of that, Amazon sometimes put them on sale or you can find a sweet open box deal from Best Buy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about the Sonos Ace? Is it worth getting for you? Let me know in the comments. Comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this one, you can subscribe to the channel. But other than that, see you in the next one.